Hi, my name is Xavier Ford. I'm from Colorado Springs. I'm on the UB men's basketball team and I'm a sociology major. I was raised by my grandparents. It's, it was me and my sister. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was difficult at times. It got uh, the most difficult when I was in eighth grade, seventh eighth grade. Uh, my grandfather, he started getting old, so I started working with him from six, you know, from 1 a.m. To, to about 5.30 every day. We used to throw papers in the morning. You know, I was doing a lot of stuff just in the streets, you know. We had a lot of gangs in my area, so I started doing that type of stuff. It's school or it's survival mode. I was in survival mode. I really didn't care much about school. I was good at basketball. People started knowing who I was. Uh, like I said, I had a bad attitude. I really wasn't worried about anything. Academics wasn't my priority. Um, I really, college, what is that? You know, so it was like, did what I had to do during the school year, and then once that was over with, back to the streets, you know, just causing trouble. College coaches are talking to me, and it's the same conversation. Uh, how's, your, how's your family? Pretty much a background on you, about you, and how's your grades? They're all right. You know, my, they're, they're okay. So I, I go home, and I start talking to my grandma. I'm like, you know, I got to get all A's and B's, grandma. I don't, I don't think I can do it. You know, she's very supportive. So yeah, you can do it. I don't know why you would think that you're smart. Get the grades. So summer school goes, I, I end up getting an A and B in two courses I need, and I end up passing the ACT, so. The moment I signed and I was getting ready to make the transition period here, you know, I just prepared myself mentally and stayed away from all my past friends. And like my grandma, she's so old school and country. Like when I told her I signed my letter of intent, she was like, well, what's, what's that? I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to college and everything is paid for. And she was like, everything is paid for? Oh, well, you go ahead and get out of here then. I was overwhelmed. It was kind of shocking to, to see how many people were really interested in you and their main priority was making sure that you were okay. But I finally just let my guard down and broke my wall and let people start interacting with me. And being here and experiencing everything, uh, getting my education means a lot. You know, the three years I've been here, I've been molded into like a, like a different person, you know. It taught me a lot about myself, you know, never getting satisfied and working hard and not staying complacent. One of the greatest moments for me, we had a Midnight Madness, and they were doing the introductions of all the players. And when they introduced me, you know, from Colorado Springs, six foot seven, Xavier Ford, that, and then people were cheering for me, you know, that was one of the greatest moments. Uh, one thing I, if I could say to the blue and white donors, I would just like to say, um, just thank you. Thank you for everything, you know. We not only represent ourselves and our family, but we represent the school and people like them who invest in us. So uh, we just, as a team, and for me, I'd just like to say thank you to, again, the blue and white donors for all the time and all the money they put into us to making sure we perform at the highest level we can.